Hi, and welcome to Life Change Community. One of the most common prayers has as its end or desired goal, peace of mind. It could be to remove a burden for God to take care of a worry, for some kind of heavy thought or fear to be removed from your thinking, from your heart. Peace of mind is a pursuit that we have as a goal of life. People from all nations, people from every background, what they wouldn't give for some peace of mind, a good night's sleep, a calm life, drama-free experience. How do we have peace? Through prayer. The Apostle Paul tells us in the book of Philippians in the New Testament, he says, first, we must bring all of our requests to the Lord with thanksgiving. Being able to say thank you in the midst of some of the most difficult circumstances of life can prove to be a challenge. But when we discipline ourselves, God, thank you. God, I'm going to trust that you're in this. God, I'm going to trust that you're going to work this out. God, I'm going to thank you that you're doing good for me, even though I don't see it. Thank you, God, for this. Thank you for that. God, thank you. God, thank you. God, thank you. A thankful heart is a prerequisite for a peaceful heart. When we let our prayers be made known to God, and we do that with thanksgiving, the Bible says that the peace of God, which passes understanding, will fill our hearts. Now, what does that phrase mean, peace that passes understanding? It means it probably wouldn't make sense to someone else who's looking. They'd look at the circumstances of your life or mine, and they would think, oh, that's going to be chaos. Oh, that person's going to break down. Oh, that's horrible. And their pessimism would make the idea of peace seem contrary or foreign. But God promises, even though it might not make sense from anyone else's perspective, you and I will learn through prayer, talking to God, being thankful through it all, we will learn to experience a calm and a serenity and a peace that passes understanding. It's a promise of God. It's experienced in prayer and it will change your life.